Magandang umaga sa bawat isa. Kamusta po ang bawat isa sa atin? Tayo ay summertime na sa United Arab Emirates. Na pag mga mga iba sa inyo, sabi mo, I'm still breathing the dusty air of the United Arab Emirates. Salamat sa Panginoon for this privilege again to worship Him through virtual means. At ang ating theme nga for the past uh, the weeks, for the month of June is yung pinamagatan natin, the, our journey with the Lord. At sa akin, there is always hope. Let's all bow our heads with a word of prayer. Panginoon, salamat sa umagang ito na kayo ay aming makaniig. Salamat sa privilege, privilege na kayo ay makasama namin sa aming panambahan. Freely, Panginoon, dito sa lungkad na ito. I pray, Lord God, that wherever we are, sa Pilipinas man ito, or wherever this video will reach, kayo po ang sa mauna sa buhay ng bawat isa. Give us a trustful heart, spirit, that we will continue to know you, love you more sa ayong mga buhay at manatag kami sa iyong Panginoon because you are a God who promised your children na you will never leave us nor forsake us. Salamat Ama sa umagi ito. As we continue to worship you through your words, I pray that you will anoint your speaker and even for the listeners, Panginoon, whatever they're doing right now, I pray that you will allot the time for them to sit down, to open their Bibles and to listen to your word. Dalain ko Ama na yung uh, anak na siya gagamit ng instrumento para sa umagang ito na ikaw ay ma- Itaas namin sa aming mga buhay, maitaas namin sa aming mga kaibigan, maitaas namin, Panginoon, ang iyong dangal sa aming mga kakilala, Panginoong Jesus, sa aming pamilya, especially sa mga nakakasama namin. Salamat o Diyos sa umagang ito at uh, binibigyan namin lahat ng papurit po. Salamat sa inyong harapan. Sa pangalan lamang ni Jesus, you see me pray. Amen. For the past weeks, yun na, naging topic na ito ng ibang speakers natin, mga previous speakers. Sabi, our journey with the Lord, there is always tang dang 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 So ano nga ba, kamusta ang bawat isa? Uh, as we are coping with this uh, pandemic that we're going through, salamat sa Panginoon. Unang-una tayong ipagpasalamat is yung nag na siya. I mean, not because nag but I mean, people are more saturated now compared before na nagpalakad-lakad lang sila. Then yung mga update natin ngayon, eh, na, and it is manageable by this time. So, brethren, who so are uh, diagnosed to be positive but are symptomatic, You are in our prayers. Alam nyo kung sino kayo sa aking panalangin. Salamat for uh, giving me that opportunity. And even yung ating parating daily na ginagawa at 9pm na whole prayer for the whole church ng, ng Rejoice UAE sa uh, the Arab Emirates na tayo ay sama-samang uh, lumuhod at manalangin at maipanalangin specifically itong prayer na ito. Our text in the, uh, this morning is found in the book of Hebrews 10, 19-25. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Christ, by a new and living way, open for us to the curtain that is His holy. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water, Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And he let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habits of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as we see the day approaching. Alam mo, napaka, naka, napakaganda ng verse ito. I could always... Yung sa verse 25, I would always recite that because it's a, a good reminder na bagamat tayo ay celebrate ng worship natin ng ganitong pangaraan. Sabi doon, let us not give up meeting together as Amar in the habit of doing, but let us continue to encourage one another as we see the day approaching. You will always hear people will say, end times na yata. Malalapit na yata ang dumapit talaga ang Panginoon natin. So these are questions that would trigger your hearing na meron kayong naririnig ganito and sometimes fear would out your mind, your pananaw sa buhay, yung talagang kailangan ba akong talagang matakot sa gata. sabi nga, even with this time na we're restricted to join together at mayroon tayong call to do social distancing, sabi doon, let us not give up. Although, I am not seeing all of you, what, whatever you're doing, sabi nga, kahit naman saan kayo nando doon, pero yung iba sabi nga doon, nagsasalang pa ng ano, nagsasalang pa ng mga clothes sa uh, washing machine. Tapos may kung anong ginagawa. I mean, you can never concentrate like that kind of worship. Parang natin tayo ano, yung parang pumunta ka talaga ng church because you're giving a, a time, a lot of time, special time, kada Friday lang naman. And I hope yung mga ibang kapatiran nga will really take time to sit down 
na magsama-sama doon sa era na ito sa ating pagsamba sa ating Panginoon. And let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing but encouraging one another all the more as we see the day approaching. Ito sa ating lahat, we face daily experiences, right? Right, right. <laughs> I will imagine people that's in front of me in the television now or in the screen. We face daily experiences and I would For most probably, kung nandito tayo with people around, I would hear an amen to that. We do. Kasi tao tayo eh. Tao, ang taong hindi nakaka-experience whatever, ng kung ano man yung mga pangyayari sa buhay, maybe we're already dead at that time. We desire to be with the use of our strength in our own capabilities, lalo sa ngayong araw ng mga time na ito na we're being in tested time, testing times. But when things are not under our control, ito yung sinasabi tayo, not in the normal form. That's why us, we have difficulty of adjusting, especially yung sabing lockdown kayo. O dyan lang muna kayo sa bahay. You enjoy the areas of your house, whatever, in the kitchen, in your salas, in your bed, in your bathroom. Kaya sabi, kaya lang, this, ito, ano nga ba? When things are not under our control normally, when freedom becomes less privilege, pero God already would win the victory through Jesus Christ. Yun dapat ang ating mga assurance. We must be aware that even during their time, ito sa binasa natin sa ating text, the Jews, during the time when they were following Christ, the new, the new followers of Christ. Even sila ganun din, may napangiyas ka lang buhay sa area na ito. They were situated in a place where there were only few and that there were also people who were manning them. Sila, minamanig sila. Kaya sabi, sabi doon sa, ano, sa una natin binasa, I'll read again. Therefore, sa so verse 19, Brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Christ. Dito yung word na ginamit is therefore. Therefore, what is therefore? Ano ba yung sabihin ng therefore na ito? Sabi doon sa grammar, this therefore word, in, in, it's, ano, its meaning is, it is a conjunction, it is part of the speech that connects words, phrases, or clauses that are called the conjuncts of the conjunction. So, meron tayong dalawa this morning na pag, uh, uh, we will tackle about. Sabi doon, it is a conjunction that is part of the speech. Kaya nga, this text, we our chapter is verse uh, chapter 10, but you will read yung preceding na yung na, na una sa kanya yung chapter 9, so that we will understand what does the story tells about. Diyo sabi natin natin sa book ng Hebrew. This is the present generation, ito na sila, but that those that are unbe- those that are unbelieving, unaware of the goodness of God, or in half unbelieving na nandu doon that is present in the uh, scene of the time, sabi, ito ang sinabi, huwag kayong, ano, kayo sinabi, inaysa-isa na doon, huwag kayong mag, uh, magpaltos ng pag-gather, basahin ko again sa 20, by a new and living way open for us, ito yung sinabi niya, through the curtain that is the blood, because the history about this is yung, naalala niyo na talaga ang priest lang ang lumapasok, siya lang ang pupunta, may curtain doon, kasi nandun yung Holy of Holies, yung inner course at Holy of Holies, by a new and living way open for us through the curtain that is his body, and since another conjunction later we'll discuss about that, we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw, ito yung sinasabi na, na kahit tayo, we are not on our normal mo- norm, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart, full of assurance, full of faith, having our hearts, alam natin na tayo pinatawad ng ating Panginoon, guilty from everything, from our sins, from our conscience, sa ating mind, whatever may kasalanan naman tayo nagagawa, having our bodies washed, because you know, sa, kaya pag nagkakasala, kasama yung utak sa kapag, una pa lang, pag nakonceive sa sa mind, that's it, and the body follows. At sabi doon, let us hold and swervingly, sabi doon. The word unswervingly, as a definition is, Ang tawag sa Tagalog is hindi mapipigilan. Hindi natin mapipigilan to the hope we profess for he who promised is fatal. So sabi nga, whatever is that the normal norm today that we're experiencing, sabi, let us continually have our hope to our God. Katulad natin na yung title. At let us consider how we whisper one another. Kaya ito pa rin ang call niya, call niya sa mga isa. Kasi nadediscourage na yung mga tao na doon. The few the, the followers the way na nag-follow sa the way have considered how we may spur one another toward love and good deeds this very time is a good effort is a good time or opportunity that we could extend the help especially sa mga kapatid natin na wala and I, I know 
ang Rejoice Family is one of one isa sa mga gamit ng Panginoon sa atin sa ating congregation is to extend blessings sa ating mga kapatiran who are in dire need of financial or emotional support um, especially if they are really in the core you know yung nagmumaten sa mga Bible studies where they have a cell group so you know but people you don't I mean there are people who who, who do follow up or no follow up mga kapatiran pero it, most specifically for people who are there inside are able to know and that people could understand. I mean, kung confi man talaga, sila kayong dalawa lang. Pero if pwede itong ma-share, so that you'll be, you know, for counselors, itong ginagawa kasi. So you're able to share and pray for that person or specific people that you 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 include in your prayers. Sabi na, let us not give up meeting together. I hope that we would have always, I mean, you know, joy in always coming together in praying, in, pra- in praising, and in worshiping God together dun sa area na ito. Although, I don't see you, but I don't, uh, kasi nga, ito lang naman inalat natin in a full the whole week that only Friday we allot and give it to our God. I have nothing to offend anybody, but I hope that we'll, our principle and convictions would not be astray with this area na ito ginagawa natin. I don't see what you do within the week time, but uh, ito yung ating call na we will continue to do things sabi nga maging habit natin to the same thing that we breathe the air um, na ito'y para pag huminga ka wala naman lang sa natitigil ka mahinga kasi eh, simultaneous siya humihinga ka nag inhale nag exhale so that's how our Christian faith our Christian living should and must be done but encouraging one another all the more as we see the day approaching it is not to be fearful of the end days it will come it will come and what must be us doing as children of God we must be prepared whenever it will come and this is not being overconfident and I'm prepared because every day we still commit sin every day we still commit sin in our minds in the way that we act in the way that we do things sometimes you offend somebody so ito yung mga natin na all the more that uh, kailangan ba, ba ako magpray? Eh sabi nga if I confess my sin and faithful is, is faithful and just to cleanse so hindi to kailangan alam lang Jose yung mga pa, hindi pero God wants his children God wants us considered to be his child to come near to him to kneel before his presence and to ask to ask yung piti maawa ka sa aking Panginoon ako being sinful I know that I am forgiven I am forgiven I am already mga nakita sa mga song naman narinig natin I am forgiven I am blessed I know but sometimes the enemy is there to you know naghahanap ng time para tayo mabilis na may sila alam mo yun parang tayo mag gano'n tayo ng we will not be in the path where we should be walking and sabi doon why should we remain hopeful why should we remain faithful why should we remain giving our trust to our God to our living God it is a different kind of principle for us to understand sabi doon sa verse the law is only a shadow of the good things that is coming from the goodness of God and it's verse 4 it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away the sins of men because God did not desire for this offering, God was not pleased with them, with them then at that time. Because they thought, I mean, they were practicing this kind of offering. So Old Testament time, what they do, there's this high uh, pre, uh, priest that they call. Kung ako, uh, ako yung uh, hudyo na ito, pupunta ako sa kanya, dahil nagkasala ako, I would build, buy itong bull pag mayamayaman ako, at sa so dami ng kasalanan ko, I would buy bull or goat then isla, uh, slaughter ito or iba naman dove the, yung blood tas, yung blood ang dadalhin nila doon sa, uh, sa sa temple and then that the priest only sa lang ang pwedeng pumasok doon sa loob tapos sa first 11 priest what are the priests doing in this area he offered this blood na nakuha from the slaughtered animals does not take away the guilt and the sins of the people sa kasabi sa Hebrews 10 11 Day after day, every priest stands and performs his religious duties. Again and again, he offers the same sacrifices which can never take away the sins of men. So ito yung pinapaano niya. Kaya kasi ang, ang book of no, ang Hebrews sa New Testament is talaga halos ano siya parang from the Old Testament time. Na, in a history siya. Tapos his work yung sa priest na ito, referring to the priest in this uh, verse 11 his work is an ending yung work of sacrifice na, na ginagawa every time he does it hindi siya talaga natatapos his work cannot or cannot or never be able to finish the job that is expected of him 
At tanong kanina, why should we remain faithful? Why should we remain hopeful? Why should we remain trusting God? Because the background of the verse is, they do not have their own government. At the time, nung time natin, they don't have their own government. They were situated in a place where nangingi pa sila ng permission to the same area. Kaya, kunwati kami na, taga-LA na ako nakalocated. Nangingi pa ako ng uh, auto, or permission taga Abu Dhabi pa. Ganun pa ang ginagawa. Kasi merong parang ganang na. Iba pa ang uh, prefect na nag-rule. So doon pa ako nangingi. They don't have their own government. Iba ang, ang king na doon pa nakatira sa Abu Dhabi. Kasi pagpapalagay natin ang ganilang kwento. They don't have the authority to execute a person. Spiritually, they were facing spiritual problem. Kasi di na nga sila mag-gather, di na sila mag-ipon-ipon. And then they were disarray. Nagkaroon sila ng mga discussion. They were sila mga... Uh, <clears throat> pag iba-iba ng diskusyon. Although they're following the mandates of God, I hope ito rin, hindi tayo, I mean, dito, we could see ourselves in this, sa ating mga situation, whether we are from Dubai Church, how are you, people, brothers, how, even from Sarja, from Elaine, at uh, sa Umal Queen, sabi doon, although they follow the mandates of God, but it was not satisfying. They experienced the spiritual dryness, physical life, they were so drained, kaya parang hindi nila na-enjoy ang kingdom that promised to them by God. Spiritual dryness, sabi lang, Jesus Christ was already risen from this time when we read the book of Hebrews. He already completed, and by the time, the message of God has already been completed. People were able to reach, I mean, the message of God was reached out, na naka, naka, ano na sila, naka, in Bisaya term, nakahangyaw na, nakasangyaw, nakasangyaw na, that they were able to spread the word, at ito nga, from people, I mean, God used people like Paul for the life of Peter, and uh, also in the life of uh, yung naiwan dito sa loob ng Israel ang naiwan sa kanas, so lalo yung continue and then Paul, when he ventured out in going out of Israel, siya ang gumamit siya ng mga kapatid na iba Timothy and the other people yung mga apostles na nauna sa atin Christ already completed the sacrifice sacrifice kaya sabi doon sa Hebrews 10 to 5 therefore, when Christ came into the world He said, sacrifice and offering you did not desire but a body you prepared for me. Kasi alam niya siya ang maging slaughtered lamb. Siya ang, kaya nga si Tabi doon, sabi na, he came, pag Pasko, every time pag may Pasko tayo, nababasa natin sa Micah na, uh, predestined talaga ang gagawin niya itong call na ganito. He came. Ang purpose niya dito, although very short ang kanyang ministry, short ang kanyang life, because, makita natin, pinanganak siya, and then 13, then 33, and he died, he was persecuted, pero konti lang yung kanang time in the ministry that he did. Pero in completion of what he was called for. Kasi yun talagang tawag kasi na yun. Sabi sa Hebrews 10, 9 to 10, then he said, Here I am. I have, I have come to do your will. He sets me aside the first to establish the second. And that by that will, we have been made holy, the sacrifice of the body of Christ Jesus, once and for all. Kaya nga, tapos sa verse 9, Christ has made us holy. Kaya sabi doon, pag, pag kinakanta natin, holy, holy, space is holy, pero pag kinakanta natin tayo, the temple of God, because we are considered to be the temple of God now, at the present time, kasi doon dati, holy, holy, sandol, ah, yung, ano lang, yung temple ang kinakonsider na holy. But now, our bodies is the temple of Christ. Sabi nga, kaya kung ano man yung kabulustog ang ginagawa mo sa katawan mo, you to have some vices still, not in the means of smoking or drinking, pero puyat ka ng puyat sa kakanood ng Netflix, sa Facebook, spend time more. Uh, this also, ano, yung, you, you're killing yourself with spending so much time with internet. Kaya nga dapat we are disciplined on how to do things with the way we are, ano, privileged in a way because we are in this world where virtual means is available not like dati kasi kung kaya pag nakita mo yung mga readings mo sa Facebook yung mga post or mga readings sa book na how this yung mga places where very scarce yung kanilang uh, means of having the Bible and holding it I mean having the Bible personally tayo pwede na magpulat na lang tayo dun sa yung NIV natin yung telepono natin yung telepono natin yung iba naman uh, may Bible pa rin iba iba na ang gamit pero sabi nga tayo Sa ating age and generation today, we are so blessed and so privileged that sometimes ang word na laziness ang parang na, na naging number one because ah, okay, okay lang, okay lang, okay lang. So, hindi na tayo nag-seek or nag-e-effort pa para doon. Kaya sabi na, Christ has made us holy. 
So itong pag holy natin, hindi siya, it is not cheap. That's why I'd like to remind us all that this being holy and cold and being called a child of God is never a cheap thing. Because it is, katumbas, katumbas ito sa body and death of our Lord Jesus Christ who saved us, who died on the cross for our sins, for all the sacrifices of Him. Kaya, ito yung pagmunimunihan natin every time. When we look back of our lives, kaya pag, I mean, we get emotional with, you know, pag talaga may conviction. Even sa songs, na parang pag naalala mo my life before to my life now. Kasi pag ang buhay mo is smooth, buhay mo wala kang dinadanas ng mga pagsubok sa buhay, you tend to really forget yung, ah, okay lang naman eh. Kaya karaniwan sa atin, pag may problema, tsaka lang lumalapit sa Diyos. Pero pag walang problema, and talagang bibihirang bibihira, kasi hindi siya practice. Pero sabi nga, Christ made us holy, then He said, here I am, I have come to do your will. He sets aside the first, establish the second. At sabi nun sa 12, but when the priest had offered for all time one sacrifice, referring to Jesus Christ, the sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God. For by one sacrifice, he has made perfect, amen, forever those who are being made holy. This is the covenant I will make with them. After the time, says the Lord, I will put my laws in their hearts and I will write them on mine, them on their mind. Then he adds, their sins and lawless acts, I will remember no more. And where this had been forgiven, sacrifice for sin is no longer necessary. Kaya yung mga ibang kakilala nyo na, kakilala ninyo na buhay pa rin sa pagiging condemn, yung condemnation na tinatawag, oh, no, 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 kaya true ito na all our sins, past, present, and future sins are forgiven. Yes, it is. I, we agree to that. Kaya nga ako yung sabi, oh, ito, baka magkakalala ko. Sabi doon, Christ made us worthy sa verses 16 to 18. And that is enough for all of His children, of His followers, of His child, to keep on rejoicing even in the midst of the situation that we're experiencing it through. And since, since we have a great priest over the house of God, another conjunction that is used. So what is again conjunction? Let's review. Ito yung nagdudugtong-dugtong or part of the the sentence or the phrase. Sabi, na, a conjunction is a part of a speech that connects words, phrases, or clauses and that are called conjuncts or conjunctions. This one, yung binasa natin, kaya nga, since then, read again, ating verse, points us back to the earlier passages that we read. Christ has forgiven us. Christ made us perfect. Since we have Christ in us, we can, by what? By new, paging bago, and leaving you to the curtain, nung nasira ito, nung dumating, di ba, nung when he died, on the third day, he rose from the dead, at nung time na yun, nalaman nila, di ba, nag-break yung kanyang curtain sa temple, at that, sabi nga, natapos ito, hindi ko na kailangan ng padrino, hindi ko na kailangan ng para, munta ka pa sa paring ito, para dagdala ng mga dugo, and how many kinds, how many blood would be splattered over that place, and yung, it's, kano magdumal yung lugar, pag dun isinsplash, at dun yun ano yung mga blood na, sa mga lamb or sa mga bulo, mga animals na slaughtered, na ihagis para doon, para ma-please and bless. Sabi nyo doon, wala na, hindi na. It was already broken, kasi we have the confidence to God that we can go direct to Him. Hindi na kailangan, kailangan ko si San Pedro, si San Jose, kung sino pa maniwa, San San San. Because, if that's our teaching from before, it's not anymore. We can go directly, kasi sabi niya, He broke the barrier so that we can go enter into His King, His Holy of Holies. We are confident, meaning, mayroong qualifications. Hindi ka lang basta-basta bumunta doon, punta ka, tapos alam mong hindi ka cleansed. Kasi nga, di ba, even the priest, they have these qualifications to do this thing. Parang ritual nga eh. Kaya lang nangyari, naging ritual na, kaya wala naging parang substance yung kanang ginagawa. Qualifications that you are qualified. So to go to enter to the Holy of Holies. Especially, at atin, ito yung ano ng Diyos, eh, dapat meron tayo. Sabi, intellectual, merong recommendation, dapat may recommendation ka, or authorized. Kasi nakita mo, na-claim mo na, na ito, ito ang dato pong approach, or meron ka nito so that I can enter the Holy of Holies. Someone is in the authority, kaya, that you can, so can defend you, and keep you safe. So, alam natin na ang ating confidence lahat sa ating Panginoon na, so that we have to rejoice, because God has given us this privilege. It speaks about our worthiness, Sabi nga sa Old Testament, it is allowed us to enter the Holy of Holy 
the, the before it was their practice so the, the priest ang pwede lang makapasok kasi star siya ang ginagawa niya cleansing pa siya kung ano ang matakot-takot pa na ritual ang kanyang gawa but now us tayo na kanyang mga anak ngayon it is not only the priest but we can we have the confidence not because of who we are but because of the covering blood of the Lord Jesus Christ Amen Church I hope everybody would agree and would nod their head or me ato sa akin pumapalakpak because ito sa mga side sa akin ako'y masaya let's go on kaya ang kasabi since you came back to na nauna na, bumagbalikan natin na, yung naunang chapter before chapter 10 sabi sa 922 in fact the law requires that nearly everything be cleansed by blood and without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness. Kaya nga sa kanila, even dito sa mga tao dito sa UAE, because they're practicing the Old Testament practice, even sa, sa Israel, kasi ang mga, mga Israelites, they practice yung Old Testament time. Ganun ka lang tradition, custom. Yung iba ayaw, they will not recognize an Old Testament book. Kasi sabi hindi na yan. Tao yung mga ganun-ganun sa sabi na. But sabi sa atin, sa atin, believe, Jesus Christ, without any fear, without hesitation, He destroyed the curtain of the most holy place between man and God. That is why that barrier, he was able to cross it out for us to enter. With all the things happening around us, church, this cannot take what we already possess as his child. Since Christ died for us and he died once and for all, he became the great priest over the house of God. What is the priest? The priest stands before God on behalf of man, on behalf of people, and before man on behalf of God. But there is a problem itong tinutukoy yung priest na ito. This priest is also an earth, uh, it's a sinful priest. Because why? Earthly siya eh. And during the time, the priests who pertains to the uh, stand as being priests are the Pharisees. So sila din nando doon. And on the day of the atonement, the holiest day of the twice a year that they experience it, the word experience, they do yung kanilang tatawag na cleansing. But, the priest, the Christ that we know, is a different kind of priest. Sabi sa Hebrews 7, 26 to 8, that's why sabi ko yung, yung conjunction at yan, we go back. But since a high, but such a high priest truly needs one who is holy, blameless, pure, set apart from sinners, exalted above the heavens, unlike the other high priest, he does not need to offer sacrifices day after day, first for his own sins and then to the sins of the people, He sacrificed for their sins once and for all when he offered himself. For 28, for the law appoints as high priest men in all their weakness, but the oath which came after the law appointed a son who has been made perfect forever. Amen. And Hebrews 7, 25, therefore he is able to save completely those who come to God through him because he always lives to intercede for them. The priest that did this to them, yung mga nauna sa ating, mga forefathers, they grew old and they died. But ta atin, up to now, we still believe. Yung iba, hindi naniwala, na si Christo, but it's not the, the it's not our issue now, it's not our main topic today. We should, what should be our response? There are four, four things, and then, on to that, sa pang-apat, meron siyang mga nabibilangan. Four things, what should be our response with this thing? Sabi doon, sa Galatians 2.6, I know, I know that a person is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith of Jesus Christ. So we too have put our faith in Christ Jesus and not by the works of the law, because by the works of the law, no one will be justified. So ano sabi doon? We should draw near to God. Diyan ang una. So that we, sabi doon, what should we do our response? Dito sa mga errors na ito, tanong. Yung pagiging, yung pag-encourage sa atin sa journey na ito, we should always draw near to God. And the second, let us hold unswervingly. Anong ibig sabihin ng unswervingly? As I look up na it, sabi ko anong meaning niya? Yung hindi na mapipigilan. Let, don't go, don't let go. Sabi sa tagal, hindi na mapipigilan. Kapit lang sa Lord. Whatever is your situation now, whatever you're facing through, whatever is your um, situation, It is an opportunity for you to cling more to God, to hold on more to Him, to His promises. Sabi doon, enjoy, pangatlo, ito na yung pangatlo natin, enjoy the promises of God. Sabi doon, the hope that Christ brings to us, 
reassurance at sabi yung pang apat is yung how should we remain by telling others express our love and thanksgiving by giving to others ourselves you know? kasi lalo sa mga time na ito dito ka kahit hindi ka licensed na counselor you become a counselor I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have a license for a counselor, but it is a fact that by this time, when people open up, when people ask to pray for them, when you are in your feet together to pray, and your knee on your knees to pray together, this is a counselor in, in, in a way. That's said, expressed by giving yourself to others. Sabi said, it's the time na lalo tayong mag encourage. How is everybody doing encouraging things? As it's because I'm a lot of burden, but I'm going to encourage the other. Sometimes you feel that, but I hope it will be able. We'll be able to erase that kind of thinking and pakiram down. Ito yung time best. Sa palagay ko is best the time that we encourage another people or people that's near, close to us, that we love. We must be the avenue of hope in this hopeless world that we come. Pandemic, pandemic, pandemic. We're always here. Ganito, we must be the avenue for God's goodness that we must be used. Let us be a venue to the spreading of God's word so that it gives encouragement and comfort to the people that is around us, people that we love, and even people that is within the church. Because we don't know na kahit kasakasama mo siya, nakakasama to kada linggo, yun pala, hindi mo nalaman, ito may siyang mga struggles, may mga battle, hindi mo open up. Pero because routine ang kanyang ginagawa, oh yeah, he's doing it, he was sure doing it, but there is no joy anymore because it, it's routinely done. Sabi doon, ito yung time for it to be, to, to encourage, to bring comfort to that brethren, to that brother, to that sister, para lalo nating ma-appreciate itong pag-remain at maging hopeful, maging faithful dito sa mga time, discouraging time that we're experiencing through. God is good! Amen, church! Amen and amen! I would like to hear as much as possible if tayo ay may mga tao na kasama ko ngayon sa oras na ito. I would be glad to really hear this sounding amen sa bawat isa sa atin. God is good still! I hope. Amen, amen, amen! Amen ba tayo lahat siya? We might not be ito yung mga situation na hindi natin inisip. So, pero minsan parang pag you're tried, you're, you're tested, sabi minsan bigla ka na diet, oh dito ka, you are that. Like me, I was diagnosed with a, a, a disease, a chronic disease. Da, parang ato ba, would my world still iikot pa rin ba siya or my world will stop? Would I cling to being depressed of the situation? Or if you plan, like may mga anak ka and Eventually, the kind of situation that they have are facing now because of the pandemic and economy-wise, it's slow and you lost your job. You are not able to go back to work and you were informed or someone to come to the office and that you lost your job already. You were not given your salary for past two, three months or what, two months because they're not able to do so. So what would you feel? Ito yung naroon, ito Lord, ang plano ko ganito, itong taon ako mag-spend sa abroad, ako mag-spend sa abroad, ano, uwi ako, ganito, ganito ako. Pero, And every situation that we have, God is good, church. God is good. Ikaw may mga problema sa finances, may problema man tayong lahat sa, sa emotional na bagay in this time of comfort that we truly need. God is good still. We, can, we just only have to find, seek His presence, His embrace through what? Reading His Word, through His music. Makakinig ka ng mga Christian and encouraging music na para for your soul to be fed preaching or or reading the book where you can be spiritually fed like sa amin saan ba ako mukuha hindi man ako pwede magbigay sa inyo kung wala rin akong feeding i cannot just do that i have to have books where i can meditate at the bible in itself and prayer and god will reveal to you what is to be given na binigay sa akin ng panginoon and that would be my strength also to share and to give comfort, especially in this specific time. God is good. Can we remain confident? Can we be confident in telling and saying, God is good? Yes, that's the big answer that I can give to our brothers and sisters that's present right now. Because Christ died for us, died for me. I would make it personal. He died for me. Because even if I die, this cannot take our privilege that He has a great plan sa bawat isa sa atin. 
And that what he wants us to do is that we cling to God as we give all our hope, all our trust, all our confidence, because our God who promises is faithful. Amen, church. And as we close in prayer and as we have our week offered to God, and as we spend the day, day pondering his words, thinking, what must I do? What must I, with what I heard today, what was the step that I must make? Magkaroon ng katuturan ng aking pakinig, magkaroon ng fruit o bunga itong aking ginagawa kada Friday that I set aside a time. Two hours, kada Friday morning, because that's our set time since we cannot gather together. I hope hindi kayo late. I hope hindi kayo nag-agam-agam na umupo to spend time with our gathering today. And I pray that, uh, I pray and uplift everybody. We are only a prayer away as we enjoy this virtual means of worship together in our God. Let's all bow down our heads with order prayer as we close. Lord, you have given us this great privilege and worshiping you through this virtual means. We thank you, God. We know that I am forgiven. I am blessed beyond measure, Panginoon. I have a friend who is God. I know that you are with me. As sa lahat ng pagkakataon, Ama, I recognize you as the Lord of my life. You are the center, Panginoon, of my heart. And I cling upon your words and I cling upon your promises. Lord, there may be times that when I am doubting, but you remove this in my heart, Father God. Remove this in my mind. Whatever experience that I am going through right now, I would give me a heart and eyes to see that you are indeed a God over these problems. Burdens that is in my shoulder, burdens that I am carrying through, I pray that you will carry it. Katulad ng sinabi sa kanta, Panginoon, that I am carrying you. That's why you did not see the footsteps in the sun, the footprints in the sun. Give us, I know that kind of assurance, and I pray that I will be able to assure myself and even brothers who are listening right now and in prayers with me as they bow down their heads and closing their eyes to really come to you in recognition of your presence, Panginoon, sa gabi. Thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity. And I pray and I ask for your protection. We have shown of us. We continually pray, Lord God, yung aming united prayer to pray together for the pandemic that's happening in the Philippines and UAE, for all the leaders of both countries and all over the world to have this kind of solution. And even, Lord, I pray for our country, Lord God, for all this experience in Panginoon sa mga pastors that is uh, going through with preparations, sa ating mga church workers. Give us, Lord God, a heart to truly love and desire to serve you more, Panginoon, sa iyong mga buhay. At dalain ko, Ama, na patuloy na ay maranasan, Panginoon, ng overflowing joy that comes from your presence in knowing coming you and serving you. Dahil ko, Ama, na your presence will always be felt, not absent, Panginoon, na kahit kami ay may mga ginarap nito na wala ng work, we are short of our finances, our plans were not pushed through, our plans were cut short, and we're going back to the Philippines, and there's so many things that we think of ito ba ay ganito sabi nga you are giving us a wisdom to live go back to basic live one day at a time to enjoy your presence every day but also be, in, be excited that you are coming soon and that you will not be fearful because sabi nga in a wink of an eye you will come and that we hope and pray that when the day comes when you come to take us all we will be ready to be taken by your presence. We thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity. Thank you for being a child of God. Thank you for being called in your ministry. Thank you for being called your child. In the name of Jesus, our Lord, we give you all the power and the praise to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Salamat muli sa araw na ito. Salamat sa buhay ni Pastor Alinette na ginamit ng Panginoon to deliver His message today. At uh, salamat sa inyong lahat na patuloy na naging matapat sa inyong pong, uh, pagdalo sa ating hong online uh, worship service. Uh, nice ko pong uh, anyayahan muli ang bawat isa. Sa susunod na Friday, we'll be having our ETS. Tutuloy natin yung ating lesson na nasimulan how to um, read the Bible accurately. Or how can we interpret the Bible and um, nawa. Last Friday, I was so blessed na makikita ang mga kapatira. We are about 30 plus na mga attendees. So, salamat sa inyong lahat. At um, uh, ngayon po, bago po tayo magtapos sa ating benediction, um, let me read to you yung ating home promise text of the week na ito po ay isang tradisyon na, ho, na rejoice family. 
Ito ho ay matatagpuan sa Psalm chapter 91 verse uh, 14 and 15 and 16. 14, 15, 16. Okay. Because He loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue Him. I will protect Him for He acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer Him. I will be with Him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. How, uh, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Ang ganda po nito. Sabi niya, because he loves me. Anong klaseng pag-ibig ko tayo sa ating, meron sa ating Panginoon? Who is controlling our love to God? Who is controlling our heart? Sabi niya in Romans 8, 23, In everything, God works for the good. To those who love Him. To those that He called according to His purpose. Yan ho ay ating hahawakan sa ating hong patuloy na paglalakbay uh, habang tayo po ay uh, kasama ang Panginoon. Indeed, yung ating hong paglakad ay... Uh, may kasamang kabalikat ho ito ay uh, isa hong hope o isa hong meron ho tayo tunay na um, ano nga ba yung hope sa Tagalog tunay na pag-asa sa ating Panginoon for God is the one who is holding our future so with that tayo uh, ay patuloy na uh, magpasakop sa ating pan. Let's uh, bow down and uh, ask the Lord for His blessing once more. Panginoon, we thank you aming Ama sa um, araw na ito. Salamat, Panginoon, Diyos, sa iyong patuloy na pagpapala sa amin. Thank you for Pastor Lynette na ginamit niyo aming Ama to deliver, Panginoon, your message um, this morning. Dalangin po, Panginoon, patuloy na karunungan ay pagkalog po ninyo sa iyong anak na ito. We pray, Father, that may you continually bless her life, bless her, uh, her work, bless her with uh, many blessings that may you use her life as a channel of your blessing to others. Panginoon, dalangin namin ang magpatuloy na pag-iingat po ninyo sa kanya. May, may your covering be upon her sa kanyang araw-araw na buhay. Kanyang araw-araw, Panginoon, na pagpasok sa work. Um, she is one of our frontliners dito sa UAE. Father God, we pray that the, the, the covering, the, the pillar of fire, the pillar of cloud that cover your people as you move them from the land of slavery, from the land of Egypt to the promised land, will cover as well at Linet sa kanyang pang-araw-araw na buhay, Panginoon. We pray, Father, that the word that you have given to us today will um, bear fruit sa aming mga buhay. Hayaan po ninyo ang iyong mga anak, Panginoon, ay patuloy na ma-encourage na patuloy sa inyo, aming yung mind. As we walk, Panginoon, sa, um, dito sa aming journey, dito sa, sa, sa buhay na ito, hayaan po ninyo aming Panginoon, aming Diyos, na ang iyong ang pag-asa namin sa iyo ay patuloy namin titingnan. Hayaan mo, Panginoon, ang aming pag-asa sa iyo ay patuloy Ito'y aming Diyos na magbibigay sa amin ng inspirasyon to walk and faithfully follow you, aming Panginoon. Aming Diyos, patuloy na dalangin po, patuloy din na, na pag-iingat po ninyo sa amin, sa aming pang-araw-araw na buhay as we um, slowly going back to our normal activities outside, Panginoon, ang sa aming mga tahanan, iba sa amin, aming Diyos, ay bumalik na sa kanila-kanyang mga works, kanila-kanyang trabaho, Panginoon, iba sa amin, aming Ama, ay... Um, Nagkaroon po, Panginoon, ng mabigat na, na impact itong COVID na ito sa wawas aming Diyos ay nawalan ng trabaho sa wawas, Panginoon, ay nabawasan ng sahod, nabawasan ng sweldo. Sa wawas, Panginoon, ay nawalan ng mga mahal sa buhay. Father in heaven, all of this, we commit to you, O oh God. All of this, O oh Lord God, O oh God. Ano man po ang naranasan namin sa panahon ngayon, aming amay, aming pinagkakatiwala, aming sinusuko sa inyong pagmamahal, sa inyong kapangyarihan. We know, Father, Nang lahat ng ito ay temporary lamang. Our prayer, O oh God, let the very purpose of this COVID-19, of this pandemic, amin ama, be accomplished, O oh Lord. And may your mercy, your grace, and love be continually abound so that, Panginoon, matapos na po ang, ang pananalanta nitong, nitong um, pandemic na ito. Our prayer, Panginoon, may you provide and give direction and wisdom doon sa mga tao, Panginoon, na ginagamit mo to, or mga scientists, medical scientists, 
to uh, discover a, a, a vaccine or medicine Panginoon to fight the impact, the impact of this COVID-19. Salamat po aming Ama. Patuloy na aming um, sinusuko sa inyo ang uh, buong uh, linggo muli. May you continually bless us, bless our loved ones, bless our um, resources, aming Panginoon, as we uh, faithfully give our tithes and offering, aming Ama. May you bless aming Diyos, yung aming mga companies. May you bless, Panginoon, ang iyong mga anak with a strong and, um, uh, uh, and Panginoon, ma matibay aming Diyos na mga companies in this time of crisis. Oh God, yung mga nawalan ng trabaho, Panginoon, may pray, I pray, oh Father, na ikaw ang magkaloob, magbigay ng opportunity at uh, uh, magbukas, Panginoon, ng, ng pintuan para sa kanilang bagong trabaho. Oh God, yung iba sa amin na, na nag-decide na babalik sa Pilipinas, Father in Heaven, I pray, oh Lord, na lead them, oh Father, that lead us all. At uh, aming Ama, we know, oh God, na even the Philippines youth, You can bless us. You can bring all uh, all the blessings that we give you. Pon in your sa amin dito sa Dubai. Lord, you bless amin. Panginoon na na um, uh, dito po ang uh, maghanap ng work. I pray, Father, na bigyan po niyo sila ng trabaho rito. You bless amin, Panginoon, na nakaranas na ma magpositive ng COVID-19. We pray, Father God, na patuloy ka galingan. Salamat sa buhay ng mga kapatid namin, aming ama na gumaling na, O oh Lord. Nandyan po sila Ate Hilda, nandyan po sila Pastor Glenn, nandyan po Panginoon, sila Kuya Dan, and the rest of the family. We pray, O oh God, na patuloy na sila po ay maging inspirasyon ng bawat isa. May you use their lives to be an inspiration to others, Panginoon, that the COVID-19, aming Diyos, is not a death sentence, but this COVID-19 is another opportunity that bring us closer to you, aming Diyos. Salamat po, aming Ama. Purihin ka lamang at mga kapatid sa ating pagtatapos. Tanggapin natin ang biyaya, pag-ibig at pagmamahal ng ating Panginoon. Kumayo tayo na taglay ang kanyang, uh, ang kanyang kabutihan, taglay ang pagmamahal niya at ibahagi natin ito sa iba. Salamat po, Panginoon. We give you the highest praises, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. Purihin po ang Diyos at mga kapatid. Um, nais ko puling, muli kayong imbitahan at anyayahan na magkita-kita muli tayo sa darating na Friday. Purihin po ang Panginoon.